Welcome back you guys to my channel. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you haven't noticed, um, the room I'm in is not the room I have been in in the past two videos. That's because I actually came home for the weekend before I go back to New York to finish up um, just a few last minute things. So today's video is going to be about basically what a day is like in the life of a CNN intern. If you are curious about what it's like to be a CNN intern, like and subscribe now, please, because then um, you can watch this video not being guilty or feeling guilty that you're watching it without having subscribed. There you go, I just cleared your conscience for you. I'm kidding, but actually please like and subscribe. I'm a CNN intern with Erin Burnett out front. Erin Burnett is one of the primetime shows on CNN. She is the only female primetime anchor, so <laughs> stoked. I was so happy to be on her show. Go watch her, I'm, I'm not kidding. Like you'll be in shock and in awe of how just pointed she is about every argument she makes. The show is on from 7 to 8 p.m. Um, Eastern time, five days a week, and I'm really excited to share just what a day looks like, you know? Oh, also this day was filmed um, Thursday of last week. August 8th. This video is from August 8th. I'm just kind of narrating it today. Ready to figure out what a day's life in the like <laughs> Ready to figure out what a day is like in the life of a CNN intern? Let's go. I just imagine dramatic music in my head 24-7. It's, <laughs> it's a problem. First, wake up. I wake up about 7.30 um, in the morning, and so once I get up, it is automatic coffee. So I go straight into my kitchen, I put the kettle on, put the grinds in. I drink probably two or three cups of coffee before I even go into work. It's bad. After my coffee, I go on a workout, so I'll usually run and then go lift or um, kind of a combination of biking and then lifting, that whole bleh. Workout clothes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fun story about that is I actually didn't work out today. Um, put the workout clothes on and then never made it out the door. So, you know, really doing well today. Really starting the day off strong. Also, podcasts are a massive part of the day. A lot of my day as an intern um, is being able to contribute to news conversations. And so in order to be able to contribute, I have to know what is going on. Um, so I listen to um, like four podcasts in the morning. NPR up first and The Indicator, CBS This Morning, The Daily, those 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 kind of podcasts where it's very, very news oriented. So then it's like makeup time, get to do all my makeup. I'm not great at makeup to be honest. I'm not gonna lie to you. Then I'll go to my closet, pick out my clothes for the day. Um, usually I'll do this sometimes the night before today. I did it the day, the morning of. And so I picked out what I wanted to wear. Here's the outfit. This is it. I also subscribe to multiple, multiple, multiple newsletters. So I'm inundated with emails in the morning. It's, it's really bad, like it's overwhelming. So after I finish up my food and getting ready at, at my apartment, it is then off to work. And so I am so fortunate that I was, I'm able to walk to work. So I walked 15 minutes to work and um, didn't even have to take the subway. Time-wise, it's around 11.30 at this point. Um, my work, actually, I'm not even supposed to be there until noon. Um, that's when our first meeting is and that's kind of like the start of the work day because my show doesn't go till 7 p.m. So I'm not done with work until about 8.30. Um, so I actually don't go in until noon. On the way to work, I pass the vessel, right? So I wish I could tell you I've actually been on the vessel and that it's super cool. Sad confession is I pass that thing every single day and still haven't been on it and I probably won't by the time I leave. So I went into the lobby from outside um, and then I have my little key card and so that's how I swipe in and out of the building, swipe into the building, go up these fancy little escal or elevators, get up to my floor, go in and then I sit down at my desk and that's when the day really get started. So the noon meeting is where we lay out what the rough sketch of the day is. And then the 3.30 meeting is when we basically make it concrete of what stories we're doing, what angles, what guests, etc. So before the noon meeting is when, if I'm gonna pitch an idea, um, I do. I pitched an idea that morning for a story idea for a reporter actually. For me, a pitch is, is an email saying, this is a cool story, this is why I think it's cool, here are the links. Um, this is why I think it's relevant for our audience and here's why they should watch it. That sort of thing. Right as the noon meeting finishes, um, my job switches more from kind of consuming news to doing more deep dive research. And after the noon meeting, I actually went to an audio booth and I recorded 
um, some lines, some me speaking some lines. And so those lines are actually going to be part of a package. Is a video that you watch on TV, like on TV news. I am working on an original story actually right now. Um, for CNN and I'm really excited about it. And there's another video going to be about that later on. I then went into a meeting and not a meeting with my team actually. So a large part of this summer of something I got out of it was meeting with correspondents and anchors. So I've met with multiple correspondents like Miguel Marquez, um, Vanessa Yurkiewicz, um, anchors like Brooke Baldwin. And then today I met with Kate and Kate is the anchor of At This Hour with CNN. And I got to meet with her and just kind of pick her brains about my career goals and what I'm looking at doing in the future and just kind of the path to get there. And she was super helpful and she gave some really helpful advice. Actually, here's something she had to say. Mm -hmm. My advice for anyone who wants to work at CNN is go to a doctor because you're insane. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, to anyone who wants to be a journalist, just do it. Because there is an endless need for people who want to tell stories, have an impact, and seek out the truth. There's no path to success. There's no one way to succeed. As long as you're passionate for it, you will find your way. And I say this all the time, but just try it. You're not married to one line of work. You're not married to one position. You're not married to, you're not, it's not a life sentence to do that one job. Just try it, try it again, and just learn all along the way. Got it. Noted. Thank you so much. So then it's back to the office after the meeting for me, and now let me introduce you to my other intern. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Um, and yeah, let me take you on a tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so Madeline's going to be a junior at Harvard, so we're the same age, um, and she's interested in journalism, still kind of figuring out um, what in journalism she specifically wants to do. She may go to law school. Madeline and I work hand in hand on pretty much all of the group, uh, all of the specific show tasks that we're assigned and then we do kind of projects on our own. It's now the 3.30 meeting time. Aaron sits at the front, so Aaron actually has come in now at, by this point in the day and we are really making that rundown concrete so we know what stories we're leading with, we know what guests we're gonna be leading with, that whole, whole shebang. After the 3.30 meeting, like my job is much more um, deep diving into segments to help build up the segment. So it's like finding finding video that supports it, finding interview clips that support it, um, helping help research certain facts, building the elements that are in the segment to make it visually appealing, to make it make sense, etc. Coffee time. So I'll go get, I get, always go get a coffee from upstairs after that. I get my coffee, I come back, um, and then again, more research. Guys, it's a lot of research. It's a lot of research um, and writing. So then as it gets closer to show, I go and print the scripts. It's like the nightly ritual. Go to the studio, put them on her desk, and there it is. And then my job turns to guess. And I actually am the person that helps um, corral guests around around the studio and get them in place, get them get them where they need to be. When they come in, I'll take them to the green room, then to makeup, and then to studio. And so I get to chat to them. I've been able to meet um, John Hickenlooper, Jay Inslee, multiple people of different presidential administrations. I've been able to meet people from the Bush administration, from the Clinton administration, from Obama's administration, from Trump's administration. I've met the New York Times um, political editor. So Patrick Healy was actually on the show today and that was the person that I was walking around the office, um, getting to talk to him. He is such a nice guy, so kind, um, and really good at his job. New York Times, brilliant. And he's on a lot, actually, so I get to see him regularly. So I've actually built up a relationship with him. So we're, we're on a first name basis, you guys. It's cool. The guests have gone on their segment. I then escort them out, basically, say goodbye, thank you so much. And then I get to just hang out wherever. I'll hang out in the studio or I'll hang out in the control room. The control room is where um, you'll see the producers are all sitting to make sure the show is running smoothly behind the scenes. Um, that's where like the anchors that are reading off of the page, the prompter, that's where the prompter is going. That's where the producers are saying like, oh no, skip this question, go to the next one. She's gonna skip this question. You need to get a 30 second an intro to 10 seconds so intense and then the studio is actually like pin drop silent because Aaron's the only one talking and then there's just cameras around her but it's like totally just her talking at silence um because the guests aren't often in studio unless they're based in New York where we are um we can't get them in studio so it's just like 
talking to somebody that's in your ear. So it's such a, such an interesting setup. I went from with hanging out with Patrick and walking him around to then going in studio to the control room, back to studio, and then I went upstairs and I started cutting video for guests because I, um, after the show airs, we have to cut video for the guests to give to them for whatever purpose they need to use it for. And after that, head it out. So then I leave Hudson Yards and I go back to my apartment and then I eat and then I go to bed because I then do it all over again. So guys, that's just kind of like a little glance into what my day at CNN is. Comment below if there's anything else about CNN you want to know. Maybe my personal stories or things about the company or maybe some stories we've done that you want to know my take on or just anything guys. Anything CNN? I got you. So um, let me know if there's anything I can do there and please like and subscribe. Yes, I'm saying it again because I am a growing channel um, and we're doing this thing together. We're growing it together. So thanks so much you guys. I appreciate it.